Wow, what's the term if you uh, play stupid game, win stupid prizes? What would, I want the person is on drugs, real talk. What would make you attack a police officer knowing that, oh, I don't know, that they have a gun, know how to use it? What would make you do that? Next thing you know, the car's backing up into some bushes. Then it hit another parked and unoccupied vehicle. Dusties are dumb. They being drama, trauma, death. In this case, serial owners must be on a suicide mission. The financial implication is too many dust buckets in the nation. So it says the cop was saying, hey, he's got my gun, he's got my gun, but the gun was in a holster. So it sounds like to me, he was probably trying to grab at it. Grab at the gun. This is the person right here. And then the police officers, once, you know, the, the one they call the hero shoots at him, at him, then pulls him out. The suspect is on the ground. Then you hear three more shots. And you can hear witness say, oh, they executed that man. Now, they could have just, well, while the man is on the ground, arrested him. Unless he's making some kind of move. But play stupid game, win stupid prizes. I'm wanting to see when they um, run the background check on the person, if this is the first time this has happened, it, was he on drugs? Because if we're going to be honest, again, he's on the ground. The cop shot three times, more than likely, and I can't say, but more than likely, let's say if he's being still, they could have arrested the person. Said, okay, I'm going to hold the gun on you. You do this here. But the person was pulled out on the ground. Then you hear three more shots. And it didn't like an execution. But question for you, did he contribute to his own death? I would say kind of, sort of, because guess what? He is tied to, to attack a cop. Knowing that they have guns, they're not working with paint guns. Or just mace. I don't even see. I mean, maybe the cop got caught slipping for it to even get to that point. Play stupid games, win stupid prizes. And now it's going to be an investigation. So now you got a car hit. It might be towed out. Bushes, possible property damage. Now a death investigation. And I thought about it. For him to come out a police officer like that, uh, I thought about sometimes when people go to gas stations and they see women. A gas station now in certain locations, that's a good place to get God. I thought about it. How do we know he had men pulling his stunt? with women and been getting away with it? You know, steal the cargo, draw a ride and get, get away with it? And maybe has done it before, and it's common to him, like clockwork. See the police car? That might be his ultimate thrill. Oh, I'm going to do it to this cop. It makes me wonder. I just don't see a person just waking up and said, hey, today is going to be the day I do something really stupid. I'm thinking this might be one of those guys that go to the gas station. They see a woman pumping gasoline. And they just hop on in, slide into the, uh, an un, a window that's down on uh, the passenger side and just take off. And maybe you, is it possible if he has done that so much, he sees a police officer and goes, hey, I'm going to try the very same thing. Not knowing that, guess what? Hey, this time, it's going to be your last day. So this is going to be very, very, very interesting. I want to see who this person is. I would like to see.
How did you see this turning out? And people are saying, oh, well, the cops didn't have a right to shoot him. He was executed. Yeah. But I'm going to say this. He put himself in that position. I don't know if this is a, this, not that it matters what dust bucket this uh, group, the <laughs> world group the dust bucket belongs to. Uh, but it's a black cop that, from what I can see, appears. I'm thinking that could be the one that did the shooting. I'm not sure. But boy, we know if it is a black man, if it's a um, dust bucket dipped in brown, whoo, the protest might go down. Again, when he executed him, you put yourself in harm's way. Put yourself in harm's way. The decisions that people make. So it's going to be interesting, but to think. I thought about my, so why would you just choose a police car? Maybe that's his thing carjacking people and this could have been the ultimate rush to maybe carjack a police officer and get away with it what if somebody had been walking with their child across the street and they could have been ran over dusties don't think they just do so this here it does look like an execution but you contributed to it as far as I'm concerned because you put yourself in harm's way. You made a decision that day. And now look. Now look. While he's on the ground, you can hear two or three shots. It definitely looks like an execution. But we don't know, like, whether the person moving or reaching for the gun, we don't know. I could have just been laying down. So it's going to be interesting. But you have to think something is wrong. Is the crime so out of hand that you feel you can go ahead and carjack a police officer? Is it that out of hand? So let me know what you all think. I just, I'm like, that doesn't make any sense. Why would you do that? Maybe that's that person's thing. Carjacking people. Oh, I've been carjacked at the, at the gas station. I'm going to go ahead and try with this cop. And now this dust bucket kind of got got. Anyway, let me know what you all think. If there are any updates, uh, feel free to share that information in the comment section. Simply said on YouTube, and I'm out.